Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys the first perspective on things. And now we see them in today. Um, we got a show here for you guys here today. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe uh, to the channel. Now, this is one of these shows that I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's really, really going to ex- uh, is really going to upset me. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, right? It's really going to upset me because. I think it because it speaks to the integrity of the work that we do here, right? Um, and we take it very seriously. What am I? What am, what am I talking about here? So, as y'all know, the report is out um, that LeBron may miss several weeks for an injury he sustained against the Dallas Mavericks when the Lakers were playing them. We covered that game uh, just yesterday, so. We heard that he may miss several weeks. We even put up a poll on the channel asking some of our viewers, do they think the Lakers can still miss, make the uh, make the play in the playoffs um, with LeBron James injured? I think the majority of the people said no, they don't think that. So we would actually we had actually wrapped up all the content for today. And then something told me to click on this show here from um, Undisputed Today. Clicked on it and they started off with this exact story of LeBron now potentially being out for a number of weeks. So they asked Shannon Sharp to give his thoughts and opinions on the news that had just come out. Um, and, you know, typical fashion, he was saying, you know, I think it's this, I think it's bad, blah, blah, blah. And while he was speaking, Skip was just patiently waiting. And then he decided to point out a few things about Shannon while he was talking to him. And his response to what Skip was saying was really, really disheartening. So what we want to do is we want to play this exchange for you guys here surrounding LeBron's injury. And then we're going to come back and react to it. Take a listen to what they had to say there. Baylor start across from me yesterday. Well, no, and, I didn't. Yesterday. He said that. No, you he said echoed that. it. You said it was not serious. No, I said Darvin Ham said he's just fine. He's good. He said the word he used, he's good. What did I say? He said, I, I didn't hear anything. Hold on, Skip. You've never, even when it happened, I said, let me ask you this. I said from the time his birthday until February 7th, from that point on mm-hmm. until now, has he looked like himself? Well, I haven't noticed any difference. I haven't. I don't see any difference. So why is he out then? He scored 11 points in the fourth quarter what? after he quote unquote hurt himself. So, I heard something can I, pop. Can I ask you why didn't you take yourself out? Can I ask you a question? <laughs> I just want to know this. Why is it when LeBron James, if someone says there's something wrong with LeBron James, you either said it's not that serious or he's lying. Okay. But you never called into question when Tom Brady said anything. Tom Brady had offseason surgery. He had it. How do you know? Did you perform the surgery? No, but he announced it, and I believe he did. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Are you calling Tom Brady a liar? Just I, If you call it LeBron James a liar about his injury, I'm absolutely okay. calling Tom Brady well, a liar about it. What exactly is his injury, Mr. Sharp? You're close. You're, you're in the inner no, circle. I'm not, no, I'm I need not. to know what the injury is. They won't even say what the injury is. Yeah. It's another mysterious LeBron. So in other words, he's like, so again. I don't know. I don't know anything. Why don't you tell us what the injury what is? What difference does it make if you don't know what the because injury it's is? it's full disclosure transparency. Why? Just tell since us. When, since when He's the it? face of the franchise. We're going to argue about this later. Is he still the face of the league? I'm just trying to make, make the so, case. So when does full disclosure tell you, I have to tell you exactly what the injury is? Since when, since when was that a thing? It's it's always been a thing. Since I first started in this business, every team is held responsible for full disclosure about injuries so that some people inside can't have insider information for gamblers about injuries. Okay, but how about this? It's called the injury report. So they said- It is what? They, normally, a lot of times they say lower extremity. They don't want you to focus in. So they might say shoulder, they might say lower leg, they might say ankle, they might mm-hmm. say foot. But they said- He's injured, Mm -hmm. and there's a chance that he's going to miss significant time. That's what Sean's reported. That's what Woj reported. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure how. Where did that come from? Where do you think it came from? Seriously. Where do you think those reports came from? The Lakers? No, 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 no. It always always comes. I just know how the game is played. (laughs) It comes from Rich Paul. Let's be honest. Let's do full disclosure. Let's be transparent. It comes from Rich Paul. He sets every one of these narratives. Can I ask you a question? This could be significant time. I'm glad you went. This could be extended. I'm glad you went. I don't know nothing about the ankle. I don't know nothing about the foot. All I see is James on the back. 
He can't play at that level right now, so he needs to sit down. Okay. Once again, back to my first point, where I believe you missed the boat yesterday was, you were talking about how all game long he didn't look like himself. Yes. Well, that had to do with the other foot. It's the other one. It's the left one that they kept talking about over the last, whatever it's been, three weeks. The left foot. This is the right foot. They kept saying the left foot. And then one day they'd say, it's the left ankle. And then the next day they'd right. say, no, it's the foot. It's the foot and the ankle. Then I, I even heard an explanation on the local TV here in, on Sports Spectrum LA that it was actually the ankle that was making the foot worse. Somehow the ankle was connected to the football. And I, I don't right. know, but I've never heard of this exactly before. It was mysterious. And I wanted more full disclosure. I wanted more transparency, but I never could figure out exactly what was wrong with his left foot. Right. Now we get to the right foot. What happened Sunday, late in the third quarter, was the other side. It's the right foot. Right. And he said, after the game, I came down on Dwight Powell's foot and turned my ankle over. But if you watch the sequence again, he doesn't step on. Here are my thoughts. I've always said that I think that Shannon Sharp is one of the best in the business. Very smart. Very witty, naturally funny, um, has star power, has a presence to him. And it's no surprise that he's doing so well on television, even on his own show, uh, Club Shay Shay. I've always said this about him. I've said in the past as well that he loses a lot of his objectivity when he whenever he starts talking about LeBron. But for the most part, we've even done shows where we've said, you know, do we think that he could take over the sports media game? This person here has done those shows. We've talked about it. That's the level of respect we have for the work that he does in uh, sports media. However, if Shannon Sharp is up there withholding information or distorting information and pretending that he really doesn't know what's going on when in reality he does, and up there hollering fake points, bro, you lost all my respect. You have lost all of my respect. All of it. Why? Because if that's what you're doing, then it's no longer about the audience and giving them your honest take on things. It's more about your out of control fandom and your personal relationships. And if that's the case, then I can never take you seriously anymore. I can't. Not a single word. If you paid close attention to that clip and you listened carefully, it's unfortunate we can't play the video for you for you to see his facial reaction. When Skip brought up the point, he said, no, 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 no. When he asked him, where did you get that report? He said, and then he said, the Lakers, Skip said, no. No, 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 that is not true. The Lakers are not the ones that released that report. It came from Rich and Clutch. Then immediately Shannon started smiling. What are you smiling about, bro? What are you smiling about? Why is this a joke? Why is this a joke? He started smiling like, here, here, here. You're right. It was from him. Because he tried to press him on the issue of why is it all of a sudden they need to re release an injury report? He's like, because that's what's been happening in sports for decades to fight against gambling and he became very quiet and he said you know exactly how that works he said since we're going to be transparent and if you listen to skip towards the end you will quickly realize that the story started getting tangled up and falling apart because there were so many conflicting reports he was saying it's the right foot then it's the ankle now it's this one now it's that one and he stopped pushing back so if you know, 
in reality what is happening. But you're up here talking, saying some other stuff. It means you have zero respect for the audience. And as the audience, I have zero respect for you. If you don't respect me enough to give me your honest take and say exactly what it is, then I got no respect for you then. I got zero respect for you. Sports media is hard. You got to work hard to be good at it. You got to work hard to be good at it, to cultivate an audience. Some people have it easier than others. Why? Because some, some guys are already famous. They were professional athletes, whatever. So for them to go start something, it's quite easy for them to build an audience. But for those of us that actually have to go through the rigors and try to build an audience from nowhere, when nobody gave you a platform, not like as if I got a job at ESPN or Fox Sports and I came up through the ranks and then I left there and then all of a sudden I decided, hey, let me go create my own platform and now all of a sudden people know me and I got that kind of star push behind me. No! But if that's what you're doing and you up there laughing, bro, what's so funny? Why is that funny? All my respect is gone if that's the case. What Whoever feels like, oh, this and that, you can get the hell off of this channel. Because if you like, if you feel like I'm up here lying to you about what I think, if you think I'm up here lying to you, then you need to leave this channel. I'm telling you guys exactly what I think. Exactly. I don't have any relationship with Michael Jordan. I don't know Michael Jordan. I don't know Jordan Brand. I don't know Kawhi Leonard. So when I say these things, I'm saying that because that's what I actually think. Not because these people are my friends. Catch you on the next show. Peace.